So hey guys, back again. It took a bit, but it installed. So let me just check this. Okay, let's say there and CD my direct validation. Get there and say npm start. This should start. Okay. Let's just reload this. So okay. So what we're going to do now is install actually a React Router DOM once that is um, once we see that the application starts nice. Okay, it's starting or it starts fine instead of nice. So let's just do this. Wait a bit. Come on, come on. So the way we're going to do this is that we're going to create a new um, component and we're going to use React um, Router just to set something similar to whatever application you might have. Okay, We are not going to go the dump route of adding everything inside the same component because let's be honest, no one works that way. Unless you are starting or you are testing uh, something pretty minimal, you might still want to add stuff um, correctly because let's say this, you save this repo and you come back later to check it out. Okay, You might need something, you say, hey, I did um, this inside a repo so I can move this to my project, okay? to my new project or something. And then you realize that everything is set <coughs> in a component. Okay, that everything is in the same component. And when you move something, because it, this has uh, happened to me, when I move something, it turns out that um, you could get an error, or um, the implementation uh, have or has some. Um, Things that you need to be aware in order to handle with routes or something like that, and you just um, don't know how to do it. So it's better to deal with those with those problems right away when you are creating something minimal, when you are checking the package, instead of when you want to um, migrate this information to a um, a project, to a new project. So let's just okay, this is running. So let's just add this. Okay, not there, of course. But npm install React Router DOM, you can see that. And okay, um, we're going to add the information here in this one still. <clears throat> so it's going to be actually the same. We're not going to worry too much about how uh, we set up Firebase because that already has been done before in the channel. So we need a um, okay, so let me just get started I think it is okay I can copy that okay come on are you going to install or what mm. okay so it's installing but it's taking a bit I don't know why okay <coughs> this shouldn't take that long Maybe my internet is slow, or I don't know. So let's just wait for this one to install, and, and let's, okay, that is set. Mm, it seems that it didn't copy what I wanted to copy, so let's just control C to copy that, and paste it with the right click. npm install react hook form, let's install that. And we can just close this one and this one so this is going to be the part two of the setup so we can later start with the um, with the inputs okay so this is my react validation let's open this with code and let's see so let's um, go through all this setup let me just okay so we're going to create a new folder called components inside this we're going to create 
a new component called main that js uh, and we're going to have a new um, react typescript course later in the channel of course so we need a new folder which is going to be firebase we have done this before so let's not worry too much about this and say config i think i have it config if i can type correctly that js okay so i'm going to use okay and we don't have firebase installed okay so let's say npm install firebase so let's um let that to install and this should work let me just go to config and or actually let me go to mjs and remove the logo then just remove this do i have it okay remove this let's leave the class name and let's copy this and add it we add the header for this form validation with react hook forms and we have the routes let's just import that or add this import here we still don't have the routes so let's just create them we need to go to source again and create a new routes.js okay so inside this you can just uh, create a folder and add it there but let's just grab all this so let's just make this kind of quick but uh, in a way that you can see what is going on remember we just added we just changed this remove the logo and we don't even need the app css but let's just leave it there nothing too fancy there now on routes.js we're going to import let me just make this bigger okay import react from react and switch and route from react router dom which is already installed let me just um, copy this constant main which is going to use react lazy and import the components uh, the main component from the components folder then we define a new constant so let me just do this okay which is going to be routes remember that this uh, parenthesis is going to render everything so we can if we want to add something like um, some check-ins we can use still these curly races but we're going to render everything inside this so we're going to use the parenthesis okay so we're going to use the react suspense okay let me just grab this and if you don't know what the hell is going on here i added a, a react suspense and react router hooks um, tutorial before so you can check that is a lazy loading sorry it's lazy loading um, i think that's the name of the tutorial it's several parts we use lazy loading um, for the application and that's all we close the direct suspense and we're going to use the fallback which is going to be a span you can set you can even create a new component and add it here whatever you actually want it's not a big deal and we just say export default the routes and the routes let's just add a semicolon there just for good luck and uh, export default routes is going to export them to the um, to these routes so we can use them inside our app.js okay so we already have that but we need to go to index.js and let's add something which is going to be the import for the browser router we still need this and we are going to use browser router let me just copy all this remove the app what i'm going to do is just a set okay i copied something that didn't need so a uh, what we're going to do is just wrap the app inside this browser router and it's going to be fine so that is said is this uh, done okay so let's say npm start and let's keep moving so we're going to wait a little bit in order for that to start we already have the routes so at this point 
Let me just go to rounds. At this point, you can start adding whatever you want. You can turn this main into a full component. In this case, it's only going to be the form. So that's why I'm going to add it like this. So you can move um, this application or this little application to something else if you want. And you will be already using a lazy loading and the fallback of suspense. So everything should work correctly. So let's check this. Okay, it's going to open. I don't like that it opens on another uh, instance, another tab. So let's just refresh this one. Um, hello, are you going to freaking work or what? Okay, let's leave that there since seems it doesn't want to work. We already have. <clears throat> far base. Okay, are you going to freaking work? <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm kinda well. So let's just start it again. It's going to open another one. I just freaking thing. Okay, let's just leave that one. So um I already have my so let's go here. So this one is going to um, be useless in a couple of days I think so let's just actually go to project configuration and um, down here you can see the um, if you create a new instance you can see the credentials so um, okay let me just do this and it says element is invalid receive promise the see element must result a class or function. Okay, 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 because we don't have it's actually working. I'm just an idiot. It doesn't have the uh, export default in the main, and we are actually using the main here, so it isn't that it was not loading. It's loading, but with an error because we don't have anything in here. But um, let's just leave that there and go to config so we can just um, be done with this um, kind of service so let's just add that we will import everything as Firebase from Firebase app we import Firebase in uh, Firebase storage Fire store, sorry and the storage we add a new um, constant name config with the configuration of our um, with our credentials I mean and I'm just going to set a new class we just grab all this thing we're going to create a new class um, called Firebase we're going to create a constructor so we can access this Firestore which is going to be the reference of this specific application um, Firestore and storage okay so you can use this inside the component and we will use that later uh, I will showcase that later um, on TypeScript because we are going to still use a um, Firebase so it's a nice tool to have I don't recommend it for really big applications because it's going to be a uh, kind of messy and they actually charge a lot but um, for this kind of, of applications to showcase something is pretty good. So export default the new Firebase class instance. Okay, so what the hell is going on here? The constructor is going to initialize the app on line 18 and then we are going to set the get all post which is going to return from Firebase collection. The collection name is post um, a promise. So this is a promise and um, and that's all for that one so the next one is just create post we're going to pass the URL and the post we're going to set the storage to get the URL of the file that we're going to upload and then just uh, create a new object and pass that object with the correct information to posts okay so using the add and the new post which is this object and that's all that's all what the application is going to do okay so let's actually go to main and start just adding a few things let me just make this bigger my other um, instance of BS code <clears throat> so I think everything is fine so let's just do this okay let me just 
get this. So React uses it and use effect from React. We use a uh, use form from React hook form and we use Firebase from our Firebase um, class. So let's say constant main equals to a functional component and just set this. Let's uh, add a space there and let's just maybe do, let's say export default first. Export default main. So that should work. Just make this okay. And we are going to add, let's say, um, React fragment. Okay. And uh, let's say um, main works. Something like that. Save this and we should get that. Expecting assignment or call function and instead saw an expression where main nothing has returned from render. Okay, sorry. So that is actually the return. Okay, yep. Forgot this. Although this should be done, let me just check something because this should actually render that, right? Make this and uh, Set this. Is this going to work? You can see that this works. It's just the same thing as the routes. This is actually rendering everything here. But uh, if we want to add some logic onto what we're going to do, we will need to set something similar to the return or specifically the return and just wrap everything inside here. I'm talking about the config. So we, not the config, sorry, the routes. We will need to do something similar to what we do in a regular component. So <clears throat> that should, sorry again, that should uh, actually get everything. And you can see that this is loading. Please wait and that. Let's just well, let's just leave that open because we are going to check that everything is uh, passing by. And you can see this is a span with loading. Please wait. Let's close the routes. Everything is set now. And let me just check the time. 17 okay so so far the application and uh, let's just add i know you will not have this but um, let me just copy all this uh, css and add it into my index css remove this and paste everything and save it and i'm going to remove the other css pop, pop, pop. let's go to app and let's, let's just remove this one. And you can see we have the CSS. Okay, let me show you just a real a quick view of what we have here. Okay, so let's just make this no view or wrap. So we can see the import of the UR of the um, Open Sans. The body, the um, form family for everything, container, which is going to use flex and a space between for the justified content, the H1, the post, and you can just see all this. If you want to copy that or wait until the repo is actually uh, done. So yeah, it's just uh, something small. So let's just finish this one here and start actually with the validation in the next video.